there, kids. What you got going on here? We're selling lemonade and sweet treats. Sounds delicious. But is that is that a typo on your sign? Kind of seems like it should be five cents, not five dollars. No, sir, the sign is correct. It's five dollars for a cup of lemonade. You gotta be kidding me. That's insane. How much are your sweet treats? The cookies are six dollars and the cupcakes are ten. Six and ten dollars each? Holy cow, that's a lot of money. Well, we thought we'd make more money faster if we had higher prices. So tell me, how much have you sold so far at those prices? Um, we've been out here for about an hour, but we haven't sold anything yet. Yeah, it's really weird. People slow down, but then they just keep going. All right, kids, so what does that tell you? That everyone in this neighborhood is super cheap. No, 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 young lady. Lower those prices or people will not come. Oh, okay, officer. Thank you. I highly suggest you sell your cups of lemonade for a dollar or less. Now good luck to you. Maybe he's right. Maybe our prices are a little crazy. Hey guys, how's it going? Do you need me to make you some more lemonade? No, but we could use your advice. Only one person stopped so far and, and he didn't even buy anything. Really? How come? I think our prices might be too high. Do you think $5 a cup is too much? Holy cow! That's way too much money. Who's gonna spend $5 on lemonade? You could buy a whole carton for $3 at the store. What? The highest people will pay for homemade lemonade is probably a dollar, but I think you guys should make it 50 cents. 50 cents? But then we'll never hit our target of $1,000. $1,000? You should lower your prices and drastically lower your expectations. now. I'll take that one. I'm not afraid of a little dog slobber. How's your lemonade stand going? Not great. We haven't sold anything yet. The people have spoken. They're not happy about our prices, so we just have to lower them. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. I tell you what, when I come back from walking Tracy, I'll buy some lemonade from you. Really? Thanks, Ken. You're the best. Hey, no problem. And I'll be happy to help in any other way I can. Thanks, Ken. Come on, Tracy, let's go take our walk and eat this delicious cupcake. I'll be upstairs if you guys need me. Remember, 50 cents a cup is your best bet. Good luck, guys. See you later. Uh, I guess smaller sales is better than no sales. I'll go get a marker to change our sign. There, 50 cents a cup. Hopefully this works. Hey, Chelsea. Hey, Bella. Nice lemonade stand. Hey, Matilda, we just lowered our prices. Do you want some lemonade? Sure, I'll take a cup. Yay, our first sale. Do you want regular lemonade or pink lemonade? Ooh, pink, please. Here you go. That'll be 50 cents. Here you go. Keep the change. Wow, thanks, Matilda. I hope you enjoy the lemonade. You're totally welcome. Bye, guys. I hope you have a good day. Well, we made our first dollar. Yeah, but it's not enough. We need to figure out how to make more money. Well, what about like old stuff? Do you have anything that you don't use anymore that we could sell? I don't really have anything that I don't use anymore. But Ken does, and he said he would help us in any way he can. We can sell some of his junk that he doesn't use anymore. It'll be a win-win. See, look at all this good stuff he never uses. A brand new soccer ball, volleyballs, fishing rods, camping gear. Look at these dirt bikes. We could probably get like 20 bucks for them. Yeah, 20 bucks each easily. And we could give Ken a small cut. Look at this. He may have more clothes than Barbie. And look at all these shoes. I'll start moving these ugly clothes outside while you make a new sign. Geez, we're going to be doing him a favor getting rid of this stuff. There. What do you think of the sign? That's perfect. Hey, look, I see somebody coming already. Hey there, neighbors. What's going on here? I didn't know you were having a garage sale. It's sort of a last minute idea, Mr. Henderson. Do you see anything you like? I see a lot of things I like, but I don't see any prices. Sorry, we didn't have much time. The dirt bikes are $20 each, sporting goods are $5 each, and the clothes and shoes are $2 each. Wow, you really can't beat those prices. I guess the saying's true. 
One man's junk is another man's treasure. I'll take this hat, these white sneakers, the tennis racket, the basketball, the blue sandals, the green sandals, and this awesome t-shirt. That'll be $20, Mr. Henderson. Wow, what a steal. Here you go. Thank you, Mr. Henderson. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. See you around the neighborhood. Woo, $20. We're going to make so much money today. Hey, look, here comes Mr. Rex. Whoa, look at this. I was just looking for some new beach gear. I'll take these fishing poles, a volleyball, and this fantastic t-shirt. I've always wanted to raid Ken's closet. That'll be $17, Mr. Rex. Here you go. Those are some great prices. Thanks. Have a great day. Heck yeah, I will. <laughs> Come on, Tracy. It's time to start heading back. Hey, Ken. Hey, Mr. Henderson. How you doing today? Why is he carrying all that stuff? Whoa, Jake, come check out these dirt bikes. What? Hey, Chelsea, is Ken really selling his dirt bikes? Yep, $20 each. Are you interested? Absolutely. Here's 40 bucks. We'll take them both. Wow, thanks. Drive safely. Thanks, Chelsea. We will. Tell Skipper we said hi. Tracy, let's leave the squirrel alone. Let's go home. Hey, neighbor. Look at me. <laughs> hey, Rex. That's weird. That looks like my shirt and my fishing poles. Hey, wait. Those look like my dirt bikes. Come on, Tracy. I'll race you home. Hey, what's going on down here? Did I hear dirt bikes? Wait a minute. Junk for sale? What is this? It turns out lemonade stands aren't very lucrative, but selling old junk is... Old junk? This looks like everything Ken owns. Oh, oh, Barbie, I ran as fast as I could. Why do all of our neighbors have my stuff? I'm trying to figure that out too. It looks like the girls are selling it. What? Why are you selling my stuff? And why does that sign say junk? My stuff isn't junk. Well, you... You said you'd help us in any way you can, so I, I, I thought we could sell some of your stuff that you don't use anymore. Hey, just because Ken pretty much wears the same clothes every day and has almost no hobbies anymore, it doesn't mean he'll never use this stuff again. Well, that sounded kind of harsh, but yeah. Oh, um, I'm sorry, Ken. I'll contact all of our neighbors and get your stuff back. And next time, we'll just sell Barbie stuff. What? No! Hey guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and go to our channel to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!